Welcome back, Engine. So we are continuing with our comeback for our boys of Enhypen. Um, they just dropped their, I think it's like their second, um, it's considered their like their second album, like full album, because other ones have been mini albums, if I'm correct, remembered correctly. This album has nine tracks. Two of them are um, EXO Only If You Say Yes. There's the original version and then there's the English version. Uh, like I mentioned in my reaction video to the music video, we also have in this track our very first He Sung produced and written song. And I believe also like Jung Won helped with the writing of um, that song, or if not another one, I forget if, you know, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But we're gonna go ahead and take a first listen to Romance Untold. I feel like now they're leaving their, they're leaving the blood series behind and now we're entering the romance series even though the music video still shows them as bats for some reason so because you know they're bats it's a whole thing with like concepts but anyways i don't understand it but it ties in with the webtoon so we'll just go with it we're gonna go ahead and listen to romance untold let's go let's go kicking it off i love that i love that the visuals for the album cover for the, um, on Spotify at least, it's the heart romance. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with Moonstruck. Um, hopefully I'm not gonna, I don't get like a copy, any copyright restrictions and I'm able to just post the full reactions to the full songs. So just to let you know if for some reason some are shorter than usual, it's probably because I had to edit for copyright. But let's get started with Moonstruck. Oh my gosh, I already know I'm gonna love this one because I love the preview. Jung Wan's vocals. How do you want to do this? So, God, that one will let me take you to run and go to me. He's on. Don't you then on the get on, John? Baby, won't you let me in to my secret? Cup of watching more time. I could live. Oh, take it out of you. The beat, but like the high notes on his song. The J. It's A or Jake. Jung Won. Try to guess. Oh my god, it's such a pop! <gasps> oh my gosh, I love how they started off the, the album with like a very mellow, um, mellow tempo, like almost like a ballad, but it's like the beat, like, dun 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 dun. The vocals were vocally. I'm there ever. All of them are like getting so much better each album. Like I feel like with each album, the vocals get so much better that more of the members are able to sing like the higher notes. Um, obviously, I feel like Nikki and Sunny will. Nikki mostly will consistently sing the lower register because that's where he fits the best. But I'm also catching Sunny hitting some like higher notes. Those ad libs by He Sung. Also the high notes by Jay and just like John Wan's very indistinct, just very distinctive voice. Like you cannot miss unmistakable. But I'm always like 
I'm able to differentiate sentiments a little bit more, but I'm always like Jake and Jay. They can blend so good together, cause so which mean which is good, cause that means they can interchange who takes specific parts or like, cause for the song structure, obviously they're like some some sections have like specific notes, and they both can interchange. So like in verse one, Jake can take it, and verse two, Jake can take it, and even also sometimes with like Sun Hoon. Sun Hoon, I feel is like right in between. Nikki and Sanu, like as far as like filler. So like between all seven of them, they they blend very like perfectly. But I love this track. It's like such a, a cool like boppy ballad, but like ugh. You got me going crazy over you. He's moonstruck. You know, like when somebody's moonstruck because you're just like in awe of something, it's like, oh my gosh, wow. I like like in hyphen has us moonstruck basically because we're just like in awe of it and we're like entranced by it almost but i love that first track already already a favorite i can only get better from here and this blends perfectly into xo because oh my gosh so good the way the production like are tying the songs together because it starts very very, very like mellow like hip vibes and then it's like that same beat it's gonna pick up into XO, oh, 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 XO, oh, 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 So that flow is going to be crazy. I Obviously, I'm pausing it while I'm listening to it because I want to discuss each track. But if you're going to play it continuously, the beat is like very perfect. It one sinks right, one song bleeds right into the next one. Perfect, perfect curation of this album. We're going to move on to Your Eyes Only. what is happening go back i want to hear the whole song i mean the full album of this album i feel like you know when they give us the samples they're very misleading because they give us clips that makes it sounds like it's different sounds which obviously each track is like a different it's a different vibe but the overall vibe that i'm getting from this album is very like mellow like groovy sound like so far i haven't gotten like a uh, like a hard-hitting track like uh go big or go home team da give or take in team dash you know like shout out like it's not like those power in your face songs that are like super like high energy, but this is more of like a mellow, a mellow vibes, like crank this album up when you're driving down the road, like open air, 
with the wind in your hair, looking at the scenery, the sun is setting. That's like the vibes I'm getting, which is like very mellow, but that doesn't mean that it's not catchy and it's not fun. It's very like groovy and makes you like bop your hand, like your body along to it. And I'm sure like they are going to create very iconic dances for like the ones that they're going to perform and they're going to be very like smooth and very flowy. They're not going to be like as syncopated, but we never know. But oh my gosh, I love their vocals, how they're they're giving me more like of a, to tie in with the title, like a more romantic vibe, like, it's, oh my gosh, um, what's the name of that track? It's around the same vibes of like, it's like all their, their, their ballads, like, um, oh my gosh, what's the name of the track? Hanyora and Bami Dream. Summer Dream, something like that. Date, you guys know which one I'm, I'm talking about, but like very similar to those vibes, very, very similar to like Polaroid Love. So like those types of songs, even like One and Only, it's like very like catchy boppy and like just like fun, vibey songs. I love, I love this album already. I already love this album. Let's add it to my library before I forget. So that was Your Eyes Only. Now, 100 Broken Hearts. Oh, the synthesizer. He's a uh... I love how he sings like that. Sanu. Oh, the staccato. That sounds like Sonu. The synthesizer. I'm getting very like 80s vibes with the synthesizer. Oh, I love this album, you guys. I love this album. It's a no, it's gonna be a no skip album. I'm already calling it in track four. But I love I love how the different variations, there's like three sections where they sing that um that it's like the pre-chorus and then like the chorus, but like Haunt your broken heart, haunt your broken heart, not our fate. I love hearing how the different ways that he sang sang it and then Jung Won sang it and I think Jay also sang it if I'm, I remember correctly. I love how like each one you can tell their their style, their singing style because they don't sound exactly the same. You can pluck out, pluck, pluck out that it's a different member. But I'm he's unbiased, I'm he's unbiased so you guys already know. I love the way he we always we already know that Jung Won has like a nasally kind of voice and just it just fits him perfectly even like when he's singing um that portion it didn't sound as nasally whereas he sung singing it then he sounded nasally because he was like hold your broken heart hold your broken heart you can tell that he was singing it with like his mouth almost closed not our fate oh so good they gave the song so much flavor and when they were even like Nikki and Sunu and Sunhoon like <laughs> like their vocals sounded so smooth, so clear. 
And I personally love that this album is more like a mellow um, vibes, mellow, like more staying in more in the mid ranges with just like a couple of peaks and a couple of lows. It's not like super drastic highs and super drastic lows because I feel like with this style of, of songs, um, for the vocalists that have the lower register, like Nikki and Sunhoon and Sunu, mostly like Nikki and Sunu, they get longer parts because there's like sections where that lower register voice fits in perfectly. So I feel like Nikki's getting a little bit more and more um, like longer sections to sing instead of just like, you have four words, you know what I mean? But I already love, uh, love the hundred broken hearts, hundred broken hearts. <sighs> Not our fate. Um, so anyways, yeah, if you guys can see that I'm like sweating like crazy, it's because it's so humid hit here and my fan, my battery died, Koya. You're letting me down, Koya. But anyways, we're gonna just, just power through now to brought the heat back, picking it up the tempo. I need to go back. I think it was like a minute. Something. I heard something. I think it was during Nikki's part. doing those background runs chef's kiss chef's kiss when i heard this preview for this track um bring the heat back the vibe i got the same vibe and the same like upbeat like vibe as i think it was teeth from the dark moon um album 
I already forgot the name of the album, if that's not the name of the album, but you guys know which one I mean. Um, I got the same vibes as, oh, was it Teeth or Scream? I get my names mixed up because I sometimes I just like stream. There won't, the one that I'm not going to mistake ever is like Fatal Trouble because that's a bop. But it's either Teeth or Scream, it gives me this, the same vibe. So I mean like that ties like the albums perfectly together because we're, get, we're getting the same like vibe. I'm going to look it up after like I check this out because um, I need to know which one of those. But it's one of those, one of those. Like right now I'm like in... This track is in my brain, so I can't think of the other track, but I know it's like a similar sound. I love how it's like been like so mellow, smooth vibes, and then it like picks up into this like track, and I love the little yeah, 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 throughout the song, and also the breathing. <sighs> oh, so good, but I mean, mm, mm, I can't, I can't, I can't. I this whole album is such a bop. I love how it's like between um the past two uh the tracks is very i get very like heavy 80s vibes which are like with the synthesizer the use of the synthesizer but in this track i love how we had like the different drops the different like pauses like pull back extracting the sound and then like dropping it back in like you could hear the synthesizer very very easily um but I love how they were doing that pull in and out of like stripping the sound and bringing it back in and like almost like a climax and an anti climax and just like it took us for a ride. It took us for a vibe, a like happy vibe. It's just like jamming along, dancing along in your room, in your car, and the and the streets and the park, wherever you're just vibing to this song. Um, moving on to paranormal. We're gonna get paranormal with the boys. I'm really on track six, you guys. I recognize those brief breaths everywhere anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass the mic. <laughs> or like paradox. Jake, the background vocals I can picture us I can picture us singing that in concert like the engine cheering along whoa, 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 whoa. I I gave up I gave up trying to figure out who was who as you guys know I have trouble with some of the voices Nikki I can clock him John Wan I can clock him he sung I can clock him because he sung has a very distinctive way of breathing like when he uh, exhales his songs and just like the way he does his runs. Uh, Nikki's like a low register. Oh, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. I think I caught some of Sun Hoon's. Jung Won, obviously, very distinctive vocals, like I've mentioned before. But whoever I need, ugh, obviously, when I re listen to this with better headphones, I need to know who was doing the ad libs in the background because that, like, just fills out the song so much better. Like that, almost like that call out. Like, they said the line here and then they'd like repeat it but like in the background and just the ad libs with those like higher notes and then it was when especially in the parts where it faded to like it went like to the higher note ah, oh my gosh i like this ah. 
Also, you can tell who's who by the pronunciation because according to he of it's paranormal love. It's love. <laughs> he's got that, he's, he's got that Michael Jackson. <laughs> but on a, on another, another Bob, another Bob, I also like how it's like a little bit sped up. So it's giving you like this sense of urgency. Um, paranormal love because it's just paranormal, you know? It's strange, it's out of this world. It is out of this world, because they are out of this world. Royalty, they are royalty also. Guitar, and a little woo. Caught in the middle, and they didn't know it won't go get, got your blood in the tits, now little by little. Oh my gosh, who is that? What I love about this track is the way they're singing a very like solid um, middle, very like some parts, it'll go from like very flowy to like staccato. Yes, 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 yes. But what I love the most is how they went from their um, chest voice to their head voice. Like in the little bit of the chorus, Oh, that sounds so good because they're not they're not using their um I'm saying they're using their head voice because it's like it's it's a different type of vocal uh vocal tone that comes up when they use like their head voice than when they just like let the air out and you can sense it because it's giving this like they're doing a higher note but it's giving it this like more of an airy feel like it's almost like like breathy if um if that makes sense let's see if i can find it jungwon's voice i love right here it's like it gives it that airy airy tone because they're not singing it like they're using more of like a head voice than like their chest voice that's why it gives it that uh, oh my gosh it's so vibey um i'm sorry the only voices i can recognize from here are nikki's and uh jungwon's because they're very distinctive i don't even remember if there's like unit songs or not I have lost all sense of memory of ever anything, so my apologies. But again, another one, I, like literally every single song in this track is like a love song to, to us, their fans, us, Chloe, you know, cause we're Chloe. They're singing love songs to Chloe. Cause they, they recorded this album with Chloe. 
don't forget that's us we're chloe that's the engine's american name is chloe so uh but yeah like in this one we're telling they're telling us we're the royalty they've told us we have paranormal love that we brought the heat back a hundred broken hearts is not going to be our fate they want to have our it's like for our eyes only they already told us they're moonstruck and they want to ask for permission so, so they're saying like only if you say yes so very very romantic songs uh, moving on to highway 109 which is a song i've been waiting for it is one of any songs produced and written i think it's co-written with jungwon if i remember correctly and i forget more members but uh, i apologize in advance for the person i will become of course it's a guitar of course. Oh. I knew it was too good to be true that I hadn't cried yet. <laughs> this man, this man, and Jungwon and the co-writers, but uh, obviously we already knew Harry 109 that it was related to Enjin, but he literally gave us a fan song. Like this is a fan song, obviously like, the whole theme is romance or whatever but this is a fan song like the letters from what i could understand spotify is very slow with giving the translations <sighs> literally give me your hand a little bit more but he's saying like stay with me just a little bit longer i'm going to be with you wherever you go i keep it uh, it's like literally like we're walking hand in hand they want to stay by our side they want us to stay by their side but literally like the whole this whole track is saying like how much they're going to be there for us and letting us know they're going to be there for us for us to stay with them they're going to be with us wherever we go whatever road we walk just stay with them a little bit more and obviously i don't want to say real engine because we know you know every fandom has their solos that thing that one person should shine more the, than the others or that think that one person is being mistreated because it's their fave but like ot7 engine will be with every single member because every single member has a place in this group yes they were formed through a survival show but i feel like 
from then, even from them, they forged such a friendship of going through such a, like, mentally, physically, emotional, exhausting time to now, like, the milestones that they've done, like, the, the improvement they, that they have done. can't believe it's been, like, oh my god, is it four years already? Because if I remember correctly, they debuted in 2020. Dang, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. Um... But by now, it's like, they're brothers, you know? They're brothers. They've been bonded together for, through a lot of trials or whatever. So every member has a, a place in this group. And, and hyphen is not a hyphen without any one of the members, you know? I know we always joke around that Island was just, like, looking for he's on bandmates. But they were chosen, obviously, fan votes and everything, but also the producers they chose those specific people because they knew that there was something special then in them and each one was bringing something to the table whether they have been trainees for years or for a couple months whether they're extroverts or introverts whether they're more talented with vocals or more talented with dance or more just like all rounders you know there's a space for all of them and obviously like engine that are ot7 like they really really love love them and support them are going to really appreciate this track um because it's literally dedicated to us the fact that it's titled highway 109 is like a big clue but just the lyrics themselves it's like a straight love letter and it was a perfect if we're not thinking about the english track because i feel like the english track is like a bonus the one with um jake if we're not including that this is like a perfect way to close out the album that yes, it's been like a whole romantic album about like a relationship and like trying to woo a girl. But to close it off with such a perfect song like dedicated to the fans. If this is not in one of your favorite and like in your rotation in your playlists. I don't know what to tell you man. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so yeah, we could not make it through another reaction video without me crying. Awesome. Um, last... The last track of the album is XO, Only If You Say Yes, the English version with Jake. I'm curious to see where he's going to get plugged in, what it's going to sound like. I'm pretty, I'm sure I'm going to love it as well. And it's going to be, a, literally this whole album is a no skip for me. No skip, 10 out of 10. Got to listen it from beginning to end. You just, you just have to. But we're going to take a listen to the English version of XO. Let's go. I said let's go. Come on, Spotify.
love actually i actually like the english version of this track um um personally i did like jake's verse but i feel like they used autotune a little too much because it didn't i feel like it didn't blend so seamlessly with their vocals like you can tell obviously i knew when his verse was gonna come in it was gonna be like he was gonna take over the second verse but you could hear like a distinction between their vocals like the way they were singing it and like his vocals which sounded a little bit more like auto-tuned so to me it didn't like feel like as cohesive but i love the english track like the english um, lyrics the fact that it says like we can turn we can turn the spark into a flame you got me feeling you got me feeling some type of way oh and that they changed the part of like instead of like don't say no it's don't let go like hold on girl hold on don't let go xo xo gossip girl um so yes um i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't buy every single version of and hyphen's album simply because if you guys saw my K-pop collection, it is getting out of control. Mostly, I blame my old group, BTS, that will not let me rest. Um, even with them, the first like couple of albums, I didn't buy every single version. That became an illness that I got once they started doing their solo work. I decided I became a, like a Pokemon collector and I have to have them all. So because of that, and because I stand so many groups, and when... I stand so many groups like I literally mean like well actually some of my favorite groups are the high groups like 17 um and hyphen txt mostly the boy groups because I will listen to the other groups like the girl groups but like the ones if I buy a physical album that means like I'm committed to that group if I buy a light stick then boom I'm in if I know all their names somebody saved my wallet um, but anyways, I digress. Um, with a hyphen, I've only been buying like one version of every album, but I feel like this is the, this is going to be the album that's going to take me to like, you need to get every version. So obviously I pre-order my autograph version. Um, don't know who I'm going to get. And I'm kind of wishing I had ordered one copy of each of the autograph versions. Maybe I can still do that. I will check. But I also like to have become, gotten into this. I need to go to Target to get the vinyl, definitely, tomorrow. Um, but I feel like I should just stick to like one autograph version and that, that way I can go to like Barnes & Noble and get the other version and then I can go to like, um, I'll probably go to Walmart since I'm already get the tar getting the Target vinyl. So that way I can get like all the versions and who knows. I might end up buying like the Wii Rears albums versions. I am very pressed that I couldn't order the global version of the album because it had the shot of getting like the, the swatch of the fabric, which let me just clear this up. Those fabric swatches, it's literally, it's a swatch. It's not a sock. It's not like their shirt, a sleeve. A swatch is literally like one rectangular piece of cloth. And these are swatches from like their outfits that they've worn during performances because it's a way of recycling them and giving the fans like a little bit a, a piece of like the history instead of just like throwing away the uh instead of just throwing away the the clothing you know i think i feel like that's more wasteful as instead of like letting different fans have like a little piece of i, I would think it's like a piece of history because like there was a music video or an outfit for like a specific performance that they can't reuse that's what a swatch is so i don't know why some people are getting like a little twisted thinking that it's like oh my, like it's like it's a personal item they're not going to give you their undershirts they're not going to give you their boxer briefs they're not going to give you their socks they're not going to give you their favorite pair of jeans you're getting a piece of a swatch from an outfit that they wore in their last comeback in their last showcase in their last music video so that's what it is but i'm a little pressed that i couldn't get that off of global because they weren't shipping to the states and i still haven't figured out how to do the whole k Addy thing so um but anyways yeah anyways i was saying this is probably the first album that's going to take me over that little edge where i will need to have all the different versions because i got to show my support for my boys here in the states 
let's, let's start helping them get a little higher in the charts. Um, obviously, set up your playlists. Let's focus on the title track, which is EXO. The good thing is you have two versions, so you can alternate and always like plug into other songs from this same album. So that way it's like a nice little rotation. Don't loop the playlists, as you know. Um, change up your playlists, interact with them. Don't mute them and have them play. Just lower the volume a little bit. Um, I'm going to link on the description, obviously, for you to stream the album um, on the link their link tree that they usually provide us. But let me know what you guys thought of the album. What were your favorite tracks? Which tracks which tracks surprised you? Did you cry like me? I feel like I always do. Did you cry with um, Highway 109? Because that just made me cry like a baby. Like I literally... Well, you, you guys. You guys saw. But anyways, leave me your thoughts in the comments engine. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.